long have you been part of Nidri Community Church? Nidri Community Church now, I became a member of Nidri Community Church in 2004. 2004? Oh, I tell a lie, 2005. I became a Christian when I came to Edinburgh at the age of 19 and then a year later got involved in Nidri. Uh, my name is Peter Granger. Okay, and how long have you been coming to Nidri Community Church? I've been coming uh, to Nidri regularly for about the past 18 months. Right, and since what? we stepped down from our role serving in Charlotte Chapel. What sort of things are you involved in in the church? Um, well, I'm a full time mum. Uh, my baby's six months old, so that gives lots of natural opportunities to get to know other mums, other women who are. Uh, in Nidri, uh, co-lead a small group mm -hmm. with my husband. I'm one of the elders here, so I have a role in overseeing the work, uh, doing some teaching, preaching, encouraging uh, new Christians, encouraging old Christians, and generally making sure that people are looked after here. Today you'll hear his voice, do not harm your hearts. And what does it mean to you to be part of Nidri Community Church? Well, it's great really. We just enjoy uh, the fellowship with the people here, seeing new people coming in, uh, hearing the good news about Jesus for the first time and what they're doing to reach out to the whole community here in Nidri and doing a great job. So what does it mean to you to be part of Nidri Community Church? Lots of work. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Nidri Community Church is a very busy place, but it's a place where I believe that God is at work, God is changing people's lives, and it's really great to be part of that. Okay. What are some of the biggest changes you've seen in the life of the church over the course of those 12 years? Um, I guess growth would sum it up, probably in two ways. Um, the number of people who are involved um, and part of our church family um, has definitely grown. And also growth in deeper relationships, much more emphasis on accountability and being willing to talk with one another about how our spiritual life is. Changes, well, I mean, it's, it's, it, every day is different. It, it's different ministries coming on board. We've got so many different things happening. One of the biggest things that are happening at the moment is we're becoming more and more independent. We're branching out different social missions, setting up a, a house where people can be discipled, help them get over their drug problems or their social problems. We're trying to get a back to work project going, so we're working very hard on that. So that's exciting to, to really help people in the community to, in a practical way, as well as just preaching the gospel out. We, we show the gospel in a practical way. What's the uh, most exciting thing you've seen in the past few years of being involved at Nidri Community Church? I think mostly just seeing people come to faith in Christ, but it really is a battle seeing them going on and sort of being established in the faith, and just seeing it becoming a real community church based in the community, rather than a community church where folk like myself would come in for a couple of hours on Sunday and uh, give the good news and then go home again. It's seeing it involve the whole of the week with a cafe and all the different means of outreach and uh, community work that's going on here. And seeing it all centred on the gospel. So what does a typical Sunday service in the morning look like at the Drake Community Church? In many ways it's similar to a normal church service I think but it's uh, uh, much more uh, relaxed and friendly. We're led by the guiding principles we believe in systematic expository preaching of the word, we believe in the elements of prayer, worship and word are central to what we do. So from many evangelical churches in Edinburgh we're, we're quite similar we spend a bit of time singing, hearing songs, praying, reading the, the Bible, and then there's a sermon. Overall it takes about maybe an hour and 15 minutes for the whole service, and basically people come as they are, there's no dress code, you come in, you can relax, you can bring your cup of tea with you. It's not often you see a preacher with a mug of tea in his hand when he's preaching. But most importantly we're here to meet with God and to hear his word and to sing his praises. I think if we're different um, from a lot of churches around I would say it's in a couple of areas. The first area is geographically. We have such we're so blessed to have this building because we're so, we're, back, we're bang in the centre of a community. People come into this cafe every single day of the week. It's part of their daily routine, their life. It's like it's like a second home to them, isn't it? We're different in that sense. We're different probably methodologically. We're quite experimental. So we'll try a lot of new things. We'll try a lot of new things very quickly. We'll fail a lot, and I like that. I like failure quite a lot. 
So perhaps we're a bit different in that regard. Lots of churches are very cautious and don't want to be seen to not being successful or fruitful or uh, or failing. So how would you best describe what the music or the singing is like on a Sunday? Do you want an honest answer there? Oh yeah. The, the singing is enthusiastic. It's a mixture of contemporary and also traditional songs as well because the community, the church itself is a mixed community of people and so I think it's sensitive to both backgrounds really. We try to sing a mixture of songs, some old hymns that older Christians are familiar with, some new songs that have been written recently which we can all relate to. Okay. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than a double-edged. Lidra Community Church does what it says on the tin. 